an Israeli airstrike has destroyed a high-rise building that housed international media offices in the Gaza Strip as the Hamas militant group continued a stream of rocket volleys into Israel. The airstrike came nearly an hour after the Israeli military ordered people to evacuate the building, which housed the Associated Press and Al Jazeera, as well as other offices and residential apartments. The strike brought the entire 12-story building down, and it collapsed in a gigantic cloud of dust. An Israeli military spokesman confirmed it struck the media building, which he said contained Hamas military intelligence. The spokesman said it warned people inside the high-rise building of the strike and gave ample time to evacuate. Space to play or pause, M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. Benjamin Netanyahu says special care was taken to avoid civilian casualties in an airstrike on a media tower. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said his country took special care to avoid civilian casualties when it bombed the building. They vacated the premises before the target was destroyed, and that's why you don't hear of casualties from these collapsing terror towers, because we take special care to avoid these civil casualties, exactly the opposite of Hamas, Mr. Netanyahu said. Attacks continued early on Sunday with Israeli warplanes hitting several buildings and roads in a vital part of Gaza City. My colleagues' shouts awakened me, and the pounding of my heart drowned out the racing of my mind. What was happening? According to photos circulated by residents and journalists, the airstrikes created a crater that blocked one of the main roads leading to Shifa, the largest hospital in the Strip. The health ministry in Gaza said the latest airstrikes left at least two dead and 25 wounded, including children and women. An Israeli military spokesman on Sunday told Israel's army radio that the military had targeted the home of Yehia Sinwar, the most senior Hamas leader inside the territory, who he said, was likely in hiding along with the rest of the group's upper echelon. His home is located in the town of Khan Yaunis, in the southern Gaza Strip. The military said it also targeted the home of Mr. Sinwar's brother. It was not clear if the two shared a family residence. A large crowd of Palestinians surround eight dead bodies wrapped in the Palestinian flag at a funeral in the street in Gaza City. A family is killed, and thousands flee as Israeli airstrikes target homes in Gaza City's Shadi refugee camp. Israel has reported that 10 people have been killed in Israel, including two children and a man killed by a rocket that hit in Ramat Gan, a suburb of Tel Aviv.